Hey race fans and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we'll be looking at two additional overlays for iRacing. The first is for Discord so you can see who's in voice chat whilst you're driving and the second is for a YouTube chat overlay. This video is part of a larger series on the channel dedicated to optimizing your iRacing setup so check back regularly for more setup guides. Okay, let's get into it. As a lot of teams and drivers use Discord as the main way to communicate whilst they're racing on the service, I find it really useful to have an overlay which shows me who's speaking so I don't have to check in the Discord app directly. Now, it's not immediately apparent in Discord how to make this work across a triple screen setup, so I'm going to show you not only how to get the overlay working on a single screen, but also how to move the overlay to your outer screens if you want to display it there instead. So to get started, we'll head to user settings and there's a few things to check before we get going. The first is registered games. We need to make sure that iRacing.com is a registered and added game so that Discord will recognize it. If it doesn't appear in your list here, what you need to do is to load into a test session in iRacing and then click add it in Discord, select the game from the list and then click add game. And then every time you load into iRacing when Discord is running, Discord will recognize the game and you'll see it displayed here. The second tab is the game overlay tab. Let's make sure enable in-game overlay is ticked. It's going to be important to have a keybind for toggle overlay lock. So take a look at what yours is. And if you don't have one, add a keybind now. The next settings are purely user preference, so the size of the avatar for the overlay and whether you want to display names and display users always or only while speaking. And then finally, notification position doesn't matter too much for a triple screen setup. I'm going to show you how we can manually move a notification position from anywhere on the middle screen to your outer screens. And just make sure that show text chat notifications is ticked. We'll need this in order for the overlay to function correctly. I've loaded us into a test session in iRacing. A couple of things to check in Discord before we are able to move the overlay around. First of all, let's check that iRacing is recognized as a game. Looks good for me here. We can go into user settings as well. Scroll down to registered games. Make sure that iRacing appears and that the overlay is on. And again, you could double check in game overlay that that in-game overlay is ticked and double check where your keybind is. Now to be able to move the overlay, we actually need to jump into a voice channel. So I'm just going to jump into my race control channel for S1 Racing. And then if we go back into the iRacing sim and we hit the keybind that you set up in Discord, you'll then be able to move the overlay elements anywhere you want them on screen. So I'll just move my voice chat overlay into the middle screen so you can see it. If I wanted to move it to my left screen, I could just drag it over there with the mouse but where I prefer to have it is in the bottom left of my right hand screen. So I'm just gonna move it back there before closing out. And then you hit the key bind a second time. And then to double check that it's working, if you take a look at wherever you place that voice channel overlay, you should be able to see your name whilst you're speaking. Let's move on to setting up a YouTube chat overlay. Now, unfortunately, Unlike Twitch, where there's an API that developers can use to easily pull chat over into an app such as Racelab, that doesn't exist for YouTube. So we need to use a third party app. And in my case, I'm going to show you Restream. And then that enables us to still show YouTube chat as an overlay so that when you're driving, you can see it as a driver. But also if you're streaming through OBS, your viewers will be able to see it on your live stream as well. The first step is to head to restream.io in a web browser. So I'll we'll take us there. You'll be presented with a login screen, but assuming that you need to create an account, just go ahead and create one. It only takes a couple of minutes. And then when it's asking you for which plan you need, just make sure you select the basic and free plan. As for what we're doing today, that is all you're going to need. Once you have that set up, you'll be taken into a screen that looks like this on the Restream web page. And there's a couple of things that we need to do to get this hooked up so that it's working with your YouTube account. So we'll head over to Add Channel. 
and I'll select YouTube. Now it's important to select event. So it's gonna be important before you do this that you have a scheduled live stream ready to go. I've got a test stream ready for us. So I'm gonna click event here. Now what this is doing is it's authorizing Restream to connect to your YouTube account and that will enable it to be able to see, edit and post chat whilst you have it as an overlay. So this is an important step. And once that's done, we should then see the YouTube uh, listing of the events that I have. And here they are. So this is the one that I'm going to use today, the Restream chat test. So I'll select that one. And then once that loads in, we'll see it on the main web page. And then that means basically that we're ready to go. As part of the account creation process, it will have also downloaded the app to your PC. So let's go ahead and open that now. And it's called Restream Chat. So I'll get that fired up for us here. And so there we can, we can see it in the right hand side of the screen. Now, this looks good, but there's a few changes we need to make to the app to make sure that one, it stays on top of your iRacing game whilst you're driving. And then two, at the moment, there's no transparency in the window, but for me, I much prefer a transparent background for both the messages and the app whilst I'm driving. So it's not so much of a distraction and we can configure that in the settings within the app itself. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll hit settings and then we'll hit appearance and then jumps us straight into the screen that we need. Now I personally prefer compact mode because I've got a few overlays running whilst I'm racing and I want to minimize the space that they take. So I'm gonna select that. I'll keep the viewer counter on. I'll probably keep, actually I'll turn the avatars off. I'm not super worried about that. If you wanted to change the scale of the chat window, you could do that here. I find 100% works okay for me, so I'm not gonna adjust that. Always on top, this is important because if that's not selected when you go into an in-sim game like iRacing, the chat window will fall behind it. So important to select always on top there. And then we've got the background opacity and then the message opacity. You can play with these as much as you want. I prefer them to be actually completely down to zero um, so that the only things that I can see are going to be the messages that people post. But it's very much user preference. If you like to do something different here, you absolutely can. And the final point um, is we are able to move this box wherever we want it on the screen and we can also make it smaller or bigger. Um, so for me, this is in uh, an okay position, but I, I like it to be as small as it can be. So I'm gonna shrink it right down and then I'm gonna keep it roughly there for now before we get into the sim and then we can adjust it specifically depending on where my other overlays are. At this point, we still haven't got the chat window here looking at the YouTube chat. It's very simple to do. You should be able to hit this drop down. And because we've added a channel into the web browser, you should be able to see it here. So for me, you can see S1 Racing. If for any reason it's not appearing for you, but you have the channel set within the web browser, my recommendation is to close out of the chat window here, relaunch the app. And for me, that generally will bring the chat window back and it has the connection to YouTube Live. So just something to bear in mind. I'm going to go ahead and turn back down my opacity. Now I've got my settings set up the way that I want. And now we're ready to kick off the live stream so that we can test the chat feature. And we'll do it both ways. We will chat into our Restream chat window here, but we'll also directly chat into the YouTube window so that we can make sure that the messaging is carrying both ways. So I've loaded us into a test session within iRacing. I've also switched on my race lab overlays so you can see those on the main stream. I have my Restream chat app down here in the right. So that is ready to go. And I also have a live stream running in the background so that we can test the YouTube chat from within YouTube itself to make sure that Restream is going to show me the comments uh, as part of the overlay. But also I can use the Restream chat to send comments back into YouTube as well. So we'll try it both ways. So first of all, just need to make sure that your live stream is selected. So for me, S1 Racing. 
and we'll first of all type a message into Restream. So the blue circle means that it is sending and then the green tick should mean that we'll be able to see it within the YouTube app as well. So let's go and take a look at that. Here we go. That's a little bit hard to see because of my overlays. But if we look at the bottom here, you can see restream chat test to YouTube. So that's perfect. So we can see that. Now let's put some text within the YouTube chat itself and see if restream picks it up at the same time. Now I typically find this does take a minute or so to come through. So we'll just keep an eye on it here. And there you can see double checking chat from the YouTube to Restream. So there's a very slight delay, but otherwise it works really well. Now, of course, you can move this window around depending on where you want it on the screen. I know some YouTubers quite like having the chat in the top right. For me, I'm going to keep mine down here in the bottom right hand side. But it's pretty flexible in terms of how you want to use it. That's all for this one. Check back on the channel for more iRacing setup guides. And if there's one that you don't see that you'd like us to take a look at, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the grid.